I just took a little bit of time out, actually. Sorry I have, uh, for the MIA. You guys know there was a few reasons why I did that. And I just need to take a little bit of time out for myself, actually, because I kind of became somebody who I didn't really recognize anymore, and I'm sure you guys didn't either. Liam Payne is reflecting on a new chapter in his life. The One Direction alum is sharing details about his journey after completing a 100-day stay in a Louisiana facility, revealing that he is nearly six months sober. Liam shares details of his journey in a video posted to YouTube on July 8th. I was in bad shape up to that point and I was really happy more than anything when I arrived to kind of put a stopper on life and work. I didn't have my phone for, you know, nearly a hundred days. I didn't connect with the outside world at all. And it was kind of prepping me for that moment. Upon leaving, actually, was the hardest point was turning the phone back on, if I'm honest with you, because it was a little bit scary. But it was a nice world to come back out to. Ever since then, I've just kind of been trying to learn to get to know this new guy. I'm very lucky, thanks to you guys at home and thanks to this wonderful life that I have, that I had a vehicle to do that, which is music. The 29-year-old goes on to express regret about his June 2022 interview with Logan Paul, in which he made comments about his former bandmates, including his dislike for Zayn Malik, that sparked controversy. I think for me, a lot of what I just said just came from the wrong place. I was so angry at what was going on around me. And instead of taking a look inwards, I decided to look outwards at everybody else. And I just think, yeah, I just took it out on everybody else, which is just wrong, really. And my own frustrations with my own career and where I kind of landed. I took shots at everybody else, which is wrong. So obviously I want to apologize for that in the, in the first instance, because that's definitely not me. Liam also reveals that despite what he said during the sit-down with Logan, his former groupmates, which also include Harry Styles, Louis Tomlinson, and Niall Horan, have in fact been there for him. Obviously one of the biggest remarks I made was about the One Direction thing. And a lot of self-protection, I suppose, in that moment more than anything. The rest of the boys are really stuck by me and when, when I needed them most, they, you know, kind of came to the rescue. Even Zane as well, which is why, you know, I, I did send him a little thank you on, on, online, actually. It came across really big-headed, didn't it? Wow. It was hard for me to watch back. I think in those moments when you make these videos, you don't realise the impact that your words might have on other people. I mean, you know, looking back on it, the whole podcast was, let's say, a big a big L and not in the Liam kind. In fact, it's probably one of those life-changing moments that, that saved my life in a way, and without it, I wouldn't have, you know, I went through a lot, don't get me wrong, but to actually arrive where I am here today and where I hope we're gonna go forward together. And as for the future, Liam is looking forward to embarking on a new path with his South American tour, which starts in September. So yeah, I'm actually going back on stage sooner than you think. I got a little South American tour going on. I mean, I would have never thought this time last year I'd be saying that, but it's quite amazing, really. Am I scared? Yes, a little bit, because it's kind of the only bit performing that I haven't road tested in this new frame of mind, and not having anything to lean on does, is, does sound quite daunting, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Those famous last words.